Hey now everyone, it's Steve Sievers from Bionic Buzz. This is my first time here in Austin, Texas for Southwest by Southwest. The conference has everything, film, music, interactive, tech. I love it, all my passions here together. Now before we get started, please help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Now let's go see who we can talk to. Before we get into everything that happened today, here at Bionic Buzz, we are all about people's passion. Where'd your passion to be a filmmaker kind of come from? A certain film, a TV show inspired, or something that was natural for you? Oh, that's a good question, man. Um, I mean, honestly, it's probably Star Wars, and then yeah. The Godfather. And then when I got the, I got the chicken pox when I was 16, and I, I got really, like, when you get chicken pox when you're older, you get really kind of messed up by it. And someone had told me about like Soviet cinema, so I started getting really into Eisenstein and Dovzhenko and all these things. And it was like, as a 17-year-old, I didn't really understand the political context, but I just thought the images were so beautiful. And then, I think that was where I started to get really just obsessed with trying to make this, trying to make films that would have that kind of feeling. Cool. Well, let's talk about your film you premiered here to your Southwest by Southwest. Uh, I'm dyslexic. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but it's "Leave the Bones" is the English translation, right? Yeah. So it's called Kite Zoa, which is Creole for leave the bones. Mm -hmm. And it's from a, it's kind of from a proverb and what they say, like when you play hide and go seek in, in Haiti, you say, manger viande na kite zoa, zombie lage, which directly translated means, uh, eat the meat, leave the bones, watch out for zombies. <laughs> and uh, and that's, it's kind of a metaphor for the whole film. The idea that the, the bones of, of the place are, are so strong, no matter what kind of a, oppressive stuff happens in Haiti, the bones and the spirit of the place is, is, remain strong. Cool, so I guess the bones is the music, I guess you have some daredevils in there and art. Yeah, I mean there's, uh, we've got like daredevil rollerbladers, we've got machete fighters, we've got... Um, dancers too, yeah. And amazing contemporary dancers, amazing traditional dancers. It, it, you know, it's a real kind of journey through Haitian culture. Very cool. So you had the premiere here today. It, uh, is it doing a film festival circuit right now or anything like that? Yeah, it's playing in Miami tomorrow, actually. It's played a few festivals in Canada. You know, it's, 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 it's making its way out in the world. Hopefully it'll be seen by plenty of people. Nice. Is there anything in the works or do you have other films you're working on? I have another. I'm, I'm writing a, a, new, a new film, a new fiction film that's kind of a surrealist film noir. Um, but this film will be playing on, yeah, in Miami tomorrow on Tuesday and Thursday here. And uh, hopefully out in on the world soon. Cool. So is there a website we can stay up to date with everything or social media wise? That is a great question. Yeah, leave the bones. If you look up leave the bones, it's a, it's actually the the website for the album that started the whole film off, and uh, because the the film came out of a collaboration between between British DJ Joseph Ray, who's actually DJing in there right now, yeah. and uh, and Laku Music, which is a Haitian voodoo kind of Racine band. And so they have their own website, and then and the film is kind of linked to that website and to the and especially to the Instagram page. Wow, very cool! Thank you so much, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for the time.